So hello everyone, I'm, I'm Professor Particle and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about our open day. So there's about uh, nearly a thousand people working in the Oceanography Centre here in Southampton and it's a really, really big, amazing building full of loads of really exciting ocean stuff. There's people who explore the deep ocean, people who sail on the surface of the ocean, people who collect sediment from the bottom of the ocean. But what I'm going to tell you about is the particles that sink in the ocean. So they're really important because they store carbon in the ocean and keep our climate the way it is today. And what Professor Particle does is he talks to you about how what a particle looks like means in terms of how fast it sinks. So just as a taster, we're going to do a little experiment now. So there's lots of different particles in the ocean, most are biological. And one thing that we think a lot about is how fast they sink. So there's lots of different factors that are important in driving how fast a particle sinks. And one is its shape. So we haven't got any marine particles, we're using nuts instead. But if you look at this particle, you can see this is a walnut. It's got lots of bits sticking out of it. What do you think that means in terms of how fast it will sink? On the other hand, we've got a peanut which is nice and smooth. How do you think that will sink? Let's find out now. Like a little bit of the ocean going down, and we're going to drop a particle in. So in your mind, remember we've got a, a walnut, sorry, a walnut and a peanut, and we're going to drop them in now. Here goes. So there's our walnut. It didn't sink at all. Here's our peanut and it sinks down. So the one with all the bits sticking out didn't sink, and the one that's all smooth did. Now it's not quite that simple, because density also matters, and nuts are full of oil, so some of them float and some of them sink. 